Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, it's 4.25 minutes CST and this is the time for the lightning talks and this is why I enjoy more in this kind of conference. And if you don't know what's a lightning talk, it's basically five minutes talks that you can talk about anything you want to talk, right? So the good part is you have five minutes, you can talk about anything you want to. And also a good part is if you really don't like what you're saying, it's also only <laughs> five minutes for us, right? Um, I'm going to invite now Emma and Chuck and um, Alex and Gil. They are over. They are going to be all participating here. I'm trying to see if there is a way. Oh, because okay, Emma. So. I, I'm, I'm showing everyone on stage uh, just to, to say hello. They are the ones that are uh, signing to, to participate today. I'm going to remove them in a minute. But I want to explain the rules, right? So in the learning talks in real life, what you do is like you have five minutes. I, I'm going to have a timer here in my phone. And when the time is old, I'm going to do this. By the way, that's right? Euro Python uh, 2019, right? That. Yes, and I think yeah. <laughs> that is maybe from the learning talks. I don't know. So basically, that means that when there is five minutes, you don't have it. You don't have time to continue. I'm going to interrupt, right? So, so be aware of that and take a look to your to your time, right? And and I'm going. I'm not going to tell you how much time you have, right? So because that's that's kind of the game. So I'm going to start. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait! I need to. I need to set a five minutes timer for myself. <laughs> you're you're the first one, so I'm going to yes. remove the rest from the stream, and I'm going to add Chuck screen here. Wait, timer. You ready, Chuck? Can you can you put my screen on first before you count down? <laughs> no, I'm going to no, start. No, I'm going to put myself in. Can I put my? Oh, I'm not locked in. Put myself in, please. Okay. No. Okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> right. Are we counting down? Three, two, one. Yeah. Go. Go. Why well, sounds like it, it's like I'm speed running. Okay. So this is lightning talk. So uh, it's about pajamas con, which is the laziest Python conference ever. Why I say that is uh, well because oh, oh, sh oh, oh yeah, I'm I'm not familiar with this. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, uh, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were a few Pythonistas at a conference that's getting money coffee, and because it's super early, and then they think that it would be great to join a conference in pajamas so they can stay in their room and they don't have to wake up, get the coffee and go to the conference and, you know, being very sleepy. So, um, yeah, that was before COVID. And uh, now, of course, like I even have my job meetings, like, you know, uh, my, my work meeting in bed. So <laughs> don't measure that. But anyway, oh, why the pictures are not lowing? Oh, my God. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. OK, now it's lowing. OK, good. Sorry, technical difficulties. OK, um, <laughs> why is not? OK, fine. I would, I would just do it like this. So um, yeah, so uh, why not if online conference that is free and it's like any time, anywhere that you can um, stream it, you know, at your home and it's uh, basically 24 hours nonstop because you know we may have people who is from who is from a different time zone joining so let's do it 24 hours so everybody get a chance to watch um so yeah it's, a, it's like a pajamas party uh, you can get your favorite onesies or whatever you wear when you go to bed um and also there's no need for coffee or mate i know that nicholas love mate there's no mate allowed <laughs> no coffee allowed just hot, hot chocolate and tea if you feel sleepy you just sleep because you're in your bed right you're in your pajamas um so that's a very brilliant idea of python conference uh, for those of you who doesn't want to leave your bed especially in the winter uh like uh for me i i think uh, so let me go to the next slide uh so yeah last year um, uh, actually, 2020, what, 2021, what, what was I thinking? Yeah, you can see that I put up the slides like within <laughs> five minutes, basically. So there's a lot of type of it. So 2020, so last year in the uh, in, in winter for me, for us, uh, you know, if you are from, you know, the southern part of the, the globe, then you would be uh, summer. Uh, so it's the 5th of December. We have the pajamas conf. So it's, uh, it's an almost nonstop streaming. Uh, we do have four technical breaks. 
breaks because of uh, technical difficulties. Uh, you already know that YouTube, you know, um, doesn't like it if it's too long. And then also uh, we have a lot of talks. Uh, some of them are recorded. And also we have a panel section. Uh, we also have the, you know, opening and closing in pajamas. I remember I give an opening with uh, in bed with my pajamas and with my teddy bear. So if you want to see uh, my teddy bear, you have to go to, uh, you know, you can you can see it uh, in, the, in our recording. So I will show you actually a recording. So um, yeah, I really don't like this setup. Anyway, so yeah, we have uh, our, so this is all the details. You can see our schedule. So some of you uh, presented last year. So that's all our talks. It's amazing. Like there we have talks in the, in, you know, in the, in the morning, you know, early in the morning, something like that. And then um, we have, uh, yeah, that, that's the two. So like we have all the streams here in the YouTube channel uh, that you could watch uh, everything. So this is like some of the 24 hours. Uh, it's a lot if you want to watch all of them. So um, yeah. And then uh, we have a pajamas competition. So uh, everybody's in their pajamas and onesies. All of, of them are my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friends. Um, also, we have swags for our speakers and volunteers. So uh, thank you so much for the sponsors that we have budget to, <laughs> to make that happen, to uh, give uh, everybody who contributed a gift. So this is actually a tweet from uh, David. Uh, David was speaking uh, at the Pajamas Con last year. So uh, that, that's like uh, in his Twitter post that, uh, yeah, with the socks, everybody loves socks, right? So that's great. Uh, so 2021, next year, uh, well, we haven't planned anything yet, but it's, it's I think, because uh, after your Python, we'll start uh, planning Pajamas 2021. So we need a team of organizers, as you may see, that uh, organizing even an online conference need a lot of work. So uh, we need you. So uh, what do you want to do if you want to help me, if you want to join, message me on Twitter. <laughs> um, so that's my Twitter or message me on Matrix. Uh, you know, you can find me in the conference during the conference or you can message uh, Pajamas Con. That's our Twitter. Please follow us. And also uh, there is the uh, the email contact at pajamaslife.life. So you can also email us. Uh, I would, well, I, I don't check the email that often right now because it's far away from the conference, but I do check the emails occasionally. So please email us, please follow us, please talk to me. Uh, let's hope that we have a pajamas 2021 this year, this one, and then we would uh, be party in our pajamas. So I didn't run out of time. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Chip. Yeah, you were. Yeah. You were. I don't get the saying though. A, a, I don't a get the saying. A, a, a few seconds. So okay. So our yeah. next person is uh, Alex. So welcome. Goodbye, Chip. Uh, Hi. Is, how are you doing? Where are you streaming from? I'm from Spain. Cool. Nice. Nice weather there because you know it's raining, of course, in Amsterdam. Um, Okay, Alex, so you have five minutes starting now. Okay. I'm Alex Alcácer, and I'm a member of the Bloss development team. Uh, today, I'm going to introduce my, my first open source project, that is Caterva, a compressed and multidimensional container for medium or big data. Okay, so what's Caterva? Caterva as we can see, is an open source C and Python library and also a format built on top of BLOS2 that implements a compressed chunk and multidimensional array. But why another chunk array? Although there are yet several formats that implement multidimensional and chunk arrays such as R or ASDA5, Caterva is especially optimized for efficient data slicing. So thanks to the new features of, of BLOS2, Caterva can extract data from a compressed array at a very high speed, as we can see later. The main features of Caterva are the following. Caterva introduces a double multidimensional partitioning that, that provides a, a fast slicing. Caterva also introduces meta layers that allow the users to add metadata to their arrays. And one important feature of Caterva is that it is typeless. So the users can flexible define their own data types, for example, as meta layers. And of course, as I said, Caterva is fully open source and we and you can find all the sources of Caterva in this in this link. But now the the main the main question. How does Caterva achieve this performance? Other chunking libraries store data in multidimensional chunks. And we can see a chunk is this cube. I mean, uh, the, the, that, the data is, is split in chunks. 
This makes the slice extraction from compressed data more efficient, since only the chunks containing the slice are recompressed. For example, if we are going to extract uh, an slice from here, we only have to decompress the, the yellow chunks. But Katarva also introduces an additional level of partitioning. We see within each chunk, the data is repartitioned into smaller multidimensional sets called blocks. As we can see, the chunks are, are repartitioned in blocks. So in this way, Katerva can read blocks in the individually and also in parallel, instead of the whole chunks, which improves the slice extraction by decompressing only those blocks containing the slice. And now we are going we are going to see a performance comparison. We will analyze the performance of extracting some hyperplanes from chunk arrays created with Caterva and RAR and SGF5. The chunks, the chunks of the arrays have also been optimized to extract hyper slices from the second dimension. What that means? Uh, if we are going to to extract a slice across the first dimension, as we can see, we will have to decompress, in this case, five chunks. But if we, we are going to extract slices from the second dimension, we will only have to decompress two chunks. So, and that increase the performance of the, the slicing. And in addition, thanks to the second level of partitioning, Caterva will decompress less data than the other formats because, as we can see, in this case, we will have to decompress five chunks, but in Caterva, we will only have to decompress the blocks in the chunks that, that contains the slicing, the slice. So, in this plot, we are going to see a, a real example. We are going to see the time elapsed extracting a set of hyper slices in each dimension. As we can see, Caterva outperforms in both dimensions in the optimi optimized one and in the other. Uh, Caterva outperforms uh, the other formats. And, and that's all. Uh, the takeaway can be if you are interested in increasing the performance of array slicing, give Caterva a try. Then, if you, you like Caterva and you want to learn more about it, you can check out our SciPy poster. At this link, and and finally, we are always open to her suggestions at Twitter and GitHub. So that's that's all. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy. It. Cool. Thank you. That was nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, and Thank you so much. So our next lightning talk is a uh, Gil. So let me ask him. See you, Alexis. Alex. Uh, <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. And Gil is also a volunteer in this conference. So everyone say thank you to him. He's <laughs> a lot of volunteers doing a lot of work <laughs> and using a lot of time in this conference. So so you're not going to share screen, right? It's only it's your shoes. I, I, I'll try to. Because by the way, I use Arch, so. Uh, oh, me too. It may be. Oh, okay. We can okay. do a lightning talk about Arch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so I. Ah, I'm, you can see my screen. I will okay. give you your 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 five uh, minutes. Um, do you need to like show my screen? Yeah, if you if you want, right? Uh, you're not. Yes, yes, you're yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah, please show. People don't need okay. to suffer from cool. seeing my face. Awesome. Uh, thanks. So, so I, no, five minutes from now. From now. Okay. So um, here's what I'm. Here's what I want to. Use, what I want to talk about. Uh, using dice with Python. Um, you know, like dice, right? The, these things. Um, they are objects in the that humans used to have a random number from one to six. In this case, uh, you can also have like bigger ones with like twenty faces. So if I if I roll the roll this down, like one face will point up usually, and it will tell me a, a number. This is just the like the usual way of, of, of doing in Python. So we do import random, then random, uh, rend int, 
from one to six, right? For the normal, for, for, for this for this little one here. And I can just like call it, uh, but, but, but you see, you see this, this thing? And, and now you look at this code and they don't look alike. Random.randint, one comma six, like, right. Um, so here, so I, I, <laughs> I built a better interface to, to rolling dice with Python. Um, yes, you can still do this if you want to, if you, if you don't mind this clunky interface, right? But why don't we, I'll, I'll show you the, the, the superior <laughs> way of using this with Python. Um, so from Dragon, people who like Dungeons and Dragons will understand why I called it Dragon. And no vowel in the O because no, the, the fewer vowels, the cooler it is. Um, from dice import, we want, we want the D6, right? This is the nomenclature um, we have for like, for these things with six faces. Uh, and now if I do this, this six, um, we call it, we get a random number. Right, this is this is way similar to this thing, right? We just we just call it and it just rolls. Um, but what if, like, right in, in real life, humans can roll two of these, two of these, two different random numbers? So let's let's call this like hand, right? Because I'm I'm putting I'm putting both in my hand. And I have a, a d6 and I'm having another d6, right? So now I'm going to call my hand. And I have two numbers, two random numbers for each of the for each of the of the dice. Now, what if I want to have this this funky one with twenty? Ooh, twenty! How difficult can that be? Just 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 call it like this, right? Import it, and now we have it: twelve, nine, fifteen, any number from one to twenty. Perfect. Can we put it in our hands? Yes, we can. I knew you were going to ask that, so I prepared for that. Right, so if we roll our hand, like boom, we get one dice and the other dice. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, can we can we have just like like ten of these? Of course we can. This is you know this is it's dragon. It's not, and it's Python. And it, it, it's amazing. Um, yeah, this is it. So if you're building a, an RPG or something that you you would use this like a board game. Um, a, a, another game, <laughs> a random number generation. Uh, feel free to use this. Uh, the the code base is also interesting for people who were here for the. Sorry, I I need to full screen because you don't need to see me twice. Um, for for people who were on the on the training, uh, there's like some 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 funny uh, multiplication things. Now I'm not going to show you the code, uh, but you can you can you can look at, at it and it will be great. Um, that's it. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thank you. That was super interesting. No worries. Um, I wonder if someone can uh, play uh, a game using with, with a computer next to it. <laughs> so thank you very much, Gil. So see you. Goodbye. So I'm the next one in the list of the learning talks. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I, I need someone to do the timer, right? So Chug, you want to do the timer? Okay, so you have to click in applause if I speak for more than five minutes. Uh, so you, uh, I'm the only one seeing Chug. Cool, time is running. So I want to talk about PyCamp. So PyCamp is basically the best even Python event ever in the history, right? Uh, so, uh, What's this event? Why is this so good, right? So basically, what we do is uh, we go all together, I don't know, for four days, a group of around, I don't know, 50, 40, to a place that is far from the city, like this one that you see in my, in my screen. And we decide, yeah, what, what we want to do? We are going to work in these projects, and then we do a four days hackathon. And at night, we can have Gil uh, running the dice, and we can play board games. And, uh, and I don't know, if you see some pages you will see in the Python Argentina community, this event is, is, a, is quite old. And we used to play, I don't know, Source and Archery and 
walking in the forest or that kind of things. But the most, most important part is that we like to go together and to work together, right? And for me, something I really, really miss from the in-person events is that kind of interaction, right? That you can talk to each other, you can look at the screen of someone else and get some tricks, and uh, or you can learn always some something new because you are talking to others, right? And this event is perfect because you have four days of that, right? So you have four days talking with some other nerds that they like the same things that you like, right? Um, so in 2020, we were trying to do this in Spain. So it is, I think it's the first time that this event is going to be in, uh, in Europe. If someone knows about something similar outside, outside uh, Argentina, let me know. But you can go to pycamp.es, so Spain, and uh, we have to cancel already two times because COVID. But now we are confident that with vaccines and a lot of other things, we are going to be able to do that on 2022. So our, we are aiming to do that on the spring. So please, if you're interested, go to this website and sign up to, to the, for the newsletter. And also, please, uh, help us to organize more of these ones because I really believe that the better events in the Python community are the small ones where you can share a lot with your with your friends. Um, yeah, that was all. I'm going to put a plug for me. Cool. So next we have Emma. Emma has some particular setup. So hello. Hello, how are you? you? Oh, now it works. Or Hello. Yeah, now it's working. It's a, it's a bit of delay, I'm but, but it's working. Cool. Where can is you from, Emma? Okay. I can hear you. Where is you from? I'm from Belgium. Nice. Okay, there's nice a big hear. delay. I'm going to... Yeah. From Belgium, and there is a big delay. I'm Okay, so now there should not be any more delays. Yes, now it's a lot better. Thank you for fixing that. <laughs> so, yeah, love the beer and love the fries uh, in Belgium. And the chocolate. <laughs> yes, but it's, it's not nothing. It's not something that I really care about chocolate, but uh, fries I like. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, thank you, thank you for signing for this lightning talk. Just a comment: if someone else wants to do a lightning talk. In the next days, we are going to have slots tomorrow and the day after. And I, I really find this fun. So please uh, sign for it. And if we have more people, we can also try to speed things uh, a bit, do things a, a bit faster. So Emma, the stage is yours. I'm going to give you five minutes. OK, thank you. So. Uh, as you can see, I uh, have uh, I don't have a, a real webcam. Uh, my webcam view on the left is uh, just an image with my name, and uh, I am currently sharing my screen, which which is where my webcam is showing up. But it's not just a webcam. Uh, I have the Python, uh, the, the EuroPython uh, back, background. I have my camera, and I do have, um, I, I do have a, a little um, shader around it. I could actually not share my screen, and I could uh, do that on camera. The reason I am sharing my screen instead of having a flip camera with exactly the same content as that is that uh, I've been told that StreamYard, and I've noticed it too, that StreamYard sometimes scrubs the camera and uh, lowers the quality of the camera. So if you're going to be sharing your screen with some text and so on, uh, that's not perfect. So I'm going to uh, show you now what, what my desktop looks like. So this is my desktop right now. Uh, it's, uh, it's big. Uh, so I have three screen. Uh, the main screen I have, uh, so I have one um, regular screen on the right that I'm sharing. And this is where my, uh, my webcam view is. On the center, I have a, an old-style uh, square screen uh, with my slide notes. 
uh, that's on the center. And on the left, I have this mess going around. So what is all that? So here on the top left, I have OBS Studio. Uh, right next to it, I do have uh, my StreamYard window. Below it, I have my Matrix window. And on the bottom left, I have some uh, sounds that are currently posed that I'm running from uh, the command line that, so that I can uh, play um, so that I can play uh, sounds while I'm speaking. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit on OBS Studio. So if you don't know OBS Studio and uh, you have uh, ever used uh, GIMP or um, Photoshop, uh, it's basically the same thing. It works with slides. Um, so here you have the list of slides that's on the on the selected view on the left. So if you can read, I've got uh, my screenshot, which is the, the big thing in the middle. I have my microphone that is loaded. I have two images that are not shown. Uh, there are the, the small logos on the right. Um, and I have, um, I don't have a camera on that, on that, uh, loaded screen right there, but you could have a camera and things. Uh, a little bit on the right, you do have your uh, audio settings. And here, this is what I was talking about. I have a virtual cam that I could very well use instead of sharing my screen. But uh, since I don't want to have the size or the quality of the stream reduced when uh, I am showing text or small windows, I share the screen directly. And uh, this is uh, this is it. You can uh, run the applause track, and I'm done. Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, cool. I hope I see you next year in Dublin. Cheers. Cheers, see you next year. Or maybe if we can maybe do a pajamas, uh, pajamas mixed with a uh, Python yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try right. because if I if I stay here, uh, Chuck will be uh, getting me working for pajamas. So, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, no. I, I didn't mean to, to, to put you in that travel. Yeah, yeah you, but you look great yeah. in your pajamas, so why well, wasted it? So, yeah, cool. See you, Emma. See you. Bye. So, because uh, because we have time, we're going to do one more, and that's going to be Chuck and me. Um, so we want to, to mention a few things about the conference. Oh wait, I see Francesco there. Francesco, do you want to come Francesco as well? Stage. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> going to put him on stage. That's, that's no one fun. can escape. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to hide. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know, but you're here, so welcome. <laughs> um, so something that we wanted to mention is. Uh, we have a hallway. So if you go to the chat in Matrix and you go to the hallway, you will see a video there with some squares playing. And that's Wonder Me. And I'm going to share two screen now. Yeah. And we want to that. promote it a bit because basically what we you have here is some kind of a fake a virtual world. But the most important part is that you can interact with others there, right? And this is something that we really miss from the real life uh, in real life conference. So what you can do is that you can walk around, but if you walk close to a different person or to someone like me, you can say, hey, hello. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, hey, Mark. Mark. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can you can see my back taste, You can see uh, Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, so Wonder Me is basically a platform that you can use to talk to others, interact, we have sponsors there, and, and, and basically you can go to a group of people and talk to them. That is, that is like 50% of what you do in a conference. So we wanted to promote it a bit because we don't see we don't see people uh, using that a lot, and I think it's important. You can you can you can follow you can pursue uh, people there. It's, I think I'm going to call the call of conduct here because someone someone is running behind each other. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah that actually was fun. fun. Just, yeah, we can we can play like a uh, hiding, right? Like 
Um, I'm running away. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Uh, so please join us there and try to talk to others. Don't be shy. Say hello. You are going to make uh, a lot of friends. Remember, uh, it's, uh, the Python community is the most important part here. And, and, and I think it's, uh, it's nice that we can uh, meet each other. Oh, I already see more, more people joining. Um, and by so the way, if you... Uh, yep. I just want Sorry. to say, if you're if you wonder where this wonder me is, right? Oh. You can uh, go to onto Matrix onto I believe the hallway. The yes. hallway, yes. And under the YouTube window uh, in the widget on top of the screen, you will have this uh, Enter the Python Lounge, Euro Python Lounge, uh, which is this wonder me thing. And so, just uh, don't be shy. Go there right now <laughs> and uh, click the, on the link the link is also in the topic of the channel right so you can just there go there go. and, uh, and start, uh, start running each other <laughs> um, yeah, running each other. yeah so took anything you want to mention or you're having a lot of fun just no, i have a lot of fun doing this actually like for those who are watching you have to try it yourself it's so much fun like chasing your friend and then running away from people <laughs> Actually, yeah, but it's also good. Like, if you have discussion, like, uh, you can like you know form a circle and talk about things, and then there's no worrying about you know you have to leave a gap because anyone can just like run into you and join the discussion. So yeah, um, yeah you can also I'm... close your circle. I don't know that that's that's not probably the most friendly thing to do, but you can uh, talk to someone else and close the yeah. put a lock in the circle. For example, if you have some kind of a business conversation with someone that is quite private, you can lock the circle as well. So you can meet people here, and then you know. Yeah, you can do you yeah. can do interviews. <laughs> you can do interviews. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you see, all, all the sponsors have have their names here, so maybe the sponsor would do interview. I don't know. So just just have a yeah. have a walk around. You don't know what you would uh, encounter actually. So, yeah. Right. So. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so we are done with the learning talks. Is the slide is all that's super nice. Um, so it's yeah. two minutes five, and please remember that at five and fifteen minutes, we have our second keynote. It's Abigail, and uh, that's going to be a really good keynote. So stay, stay here, go now and get some uh, coffee, uh, take some time, walk, go. Oh, and we have. Uh, we have show show after the uh, show show event after the um, the keynote, and I will be cooking, so I have to go to the kitchen now and get everything set up. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I'm 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 going to be there for sure. So we have two so social events. We have a Chuk in this in the Optiver track, and Alan is going to be also in the Brian track. He, Alan is going to be a Shackbox party pack. That sounds uh, super interesting. Yeah, so, it's basically some silly games that is fun to play. So uh, yeah, yeah, please join that as well if you want to play games. If you don't like cooking, so it's up to you what you like doing. <laughs> okay, so see you everyone in yeah. fifteen minutes. Yeah, so I'll leave Francesco and Abigail to the stage. Bye. Thanks.